Hey Spectres, welcome to my daily vote video. So I'm running for Cineplex pre-show host. It would be super rad if you could spare me a vote at cineplex.com slash casting call. In the meantime, today's vote video is going to be a little bit of a tutorial, which I've never done before, so bear with me. It's going to be a nail art how-to on how I did these Mass Effect nails that I did for the first time during E3. A few of you asked me how I got the signature N7 armor stripe on my nails, so I'm going to try and show you, and I hope you like it. Uh, in the meantime, I should go. So that's what the finished nail is going to look like. You can do the stripe on one nail or on all of your nails. It doesn't matter, whatever you guys want. I like it on one nail because it kind of reminds me of Shepard's armor, but it's totally up to you. We're gonna start with a base coat. I like to use Sechevit base coat, but you can use whatever you guys are comfortable with. I just think this one dries super fast, which I love. So we're just gonna start with a bare nail. Make sure it's clean and dry and you filed it and everything, and we're gonna get a nice, even base coat on there. For my black polish, I'm gonna be using a Chanel polish. I usually hate Chanel polishes, but it's the only black I have around, so that's what we're gonna to use today. And we're just going to get a nice, even first coat on the nail. Uh, as you might be able to tell, I'm really terrible at staying within the lines, so I'm gonna go way outside the borders of my nails here, but we'll fix it later, so don't worry about it. And when you're doing your first coat on your nails, always start in the middle and work your way outwards. You should only have to dip your brush in the polish one time. I kind of messed up, but uh, that should be enough polish. Once that's totally dry, we're gonna go ahead and go in and get a second coat on there so that you have a nice, opaque layer of black for your, you know, armor background or for the void of space or whatever you want to think of this as. And again, don't worry about being super messy because I'm always super messy. <laughs> for our white polish, I'm just using an Essie polish in Blanc. And we're just gonna go ahead and get a nice stripe on there. I like to do it two thirds of the way over the nail so that the one side of the white stripe is dead center in my nail and then you still have a little bit left on the other side. I missed a spot in there. I'm gonna go ahead and fix it. For our red, I'm just using Essie in Lollipop and we're gonna go right down the center of the white stripe. You don't have to worry about leaving too much white on either side. We're gonna fix that later. The white is just there to make sure that we get the brightest red possible. If we were just to put the red on top of the black polish directly, we wouldn't get that nice same bright look. Here, I'll show you what that looks like um, right here. See, it just doesn't really show up in the same way. To get the white stripes, I'm gonna be using a white striper from Color Club. Um, what makes the white striper so special is its long, thin brush like that. If we were going for a horizontal line, we would hold the brush still and just rotate our nail like that. But since we're going for vertical lines, we have to move the brush. So we're just gonna paint right over the border of where the red and white is. So you can see why it didn't really matter how much white we left before. So we're just gonna get a nice white stripe on either side of the red and just try and be as smooth as possible. I know it's really hard to hold your hand steady. I shake all the time. So. Uh, to clean up all the gross edges, we're just gonna dip a pointy Q-tip in some nail polish remover and go around the edge of our nails to clean up and get that nice clean line that I don't know how people do that the first time around. I can never be that neat. So I just go in afterwards and clean up with my pointy Q-tip. You can get pointy Q-tips anywhere. These are Quo, I got them at Shoppers Drug Mart, um, but you can really get them anywhere. Then we're just gonna seal it off with a top coat. Sechevit is an amazing top coat. It's the best top coat in the world. It dries in like five seconds. There, now you can see my nail is nice and clean. All the edges are good. Seal it off with the Sechevit. It should be dry in like 30 seconds. And you've got your Mass Effect nails. Hooray! 